I'm going to show you how to do a wireless screen mirror directly from your, this is a Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus, but this should also work for the uh, Note 8, Note 9, Note 10, Note 20, and so on, okay? And I'm going to be mirroring this directly to my Amazon Fire TV, okay? Now take note that this connection here is, um, has nothing to do with your home Wi-Fi network, so it doesn't matter if your TV is connected to a home Wi-Fi network or not because it's a mirror cast, basically a Wi-Fi direct, directly from your Samsung Galaxy phone to your Amazon Fire TV. So let's go ahead and get this connected. How you do that? First thing is uh, go ahead and click on home on your Amazon Fire TV, and then what we want to do is go to settings, the gear icon. So you want to do is move all the way over to the right to the settings, and then go down, and then we want to go to display and sounds right here. Click on OK. Now you have to go down and click on Enable Display Mirroring. Now go ahead and click on OK. Now you have to leave it on the screen right now. Okay, so leave it on that screen. Next thing is going to grab your phone. We're going to scroll down notifications like this. And then we're going to scroll down again one more time like this. And now you want to look for Smart View. Okay, Samsung calls Screen Mirror Smart View. So look for Smart View. I see my Smart View right here. If yours is not on this first page, swipe to the left. Look for Smart View. Anyway, I see my Smart View is right here. Let me tap on that right there. And this Amazon Fire TV, I named, I renamed it to Virgil's Fifth TV, so it's right here. So let me tap on that right there. Then you get a message here, start casting with Smart View. Tap on Start Now. And give it a few seconds to connect here. And voila, you can see that we are in business here. And also take note, uh, when your mirroring is connected, you get this little floaty thing right here, this little floaty icon. If you tap on that, you can pause sharing, you can change the phone aspect ratio, and you can also dis disconnect the screen mirroring from here. Okay, anyway, from here, you can show your work documents, uh, you can show photos and videos. Like, let me go to my photos gallery here, and I'll show you a quick photo here. And you can zoom in and zoom out, of course. And let me show you a quick video here. Here's a video here I just made. Oops, where's the sound? Let me play that again so you can hear where the sound is coming from, the audio. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, you can increase and decrease the volume using your phone. And right now the audio is coming out from the TV and I can still increase and decrease the volume uh, coming out of my TV. Now, what you can also do too uh, with the Samsung phone is if you want the audio to come out from the phone itself, you can do that as well. What you would do is just go back to notifications here, go ahead and slide down, and then, okay, that's weird. I thought before it gave me like an option. It said um, something to do with audio output, like somewhere here, and you would click on it, and then you can click your device, the phone, or you can click your TV, and the audio will come out there, but it's not showing right now. Maybe there's a new update or something like that on here. Anyway, I think you pretty much got the message here. So if you want to disconnect, like I said, you can click that little floaty icon right here. You can tap on that. You can go ahead and disconnect there, or you can just go ahead and scroll down notifications again, scroll down again, and then look for, before it said Smart View, but now it's gonna say the name of your TV. Oh, there it is. Okay, so now it renamed mine to Virgil's Fifth TV, which is my Amazon Fire TV, which I renamed. Okay, so if I want to disconnect, I can just tap on that right there, and it's disconnecting now. Right? Pretty simple. Any questions or issues, just comment below. Good luck.